Uh, one of the few areas of government here to emerge from today's spending statement with an increase in its budget is intelligence. But whilst Britain's spooks may be celebrating tonight, what will not be a sentiment shared in Germany. That country's justice minister has written to her counterparts in Whitehall complaining over British monitoring of global phone and internet traffic. But the British response is only three lines long and equally short on answers. Katie Russell has been exploring what's shaped British and German attitudes to the secret state. Spying makes us safer is the mantra. The intelligence community big winners today. Those who keep watch will see their budgets up by £1.7 billion at a time when discussions rage about just how much they should be allowed to do to keep us safe. Our government says there's a balance to be struck between privacy and security and that it's getting it right. But after what's emerged about British involvement in the mass monitoring of people's internet and other electronic data, there's a debate going on about how much they should be allowed to spy on us and people in other countries. And it's clear Germany, for one, has a very different attitude to all this. The German justice minister describes GCHQ's data trawling operation as like a Hollywood nightmare. British spies were looking in on personal data. The German demand to know whether its citizens were targeted and was it legal. We've sent uh, a couple of letters and questions uh, to the British government. Uh, one of these letters uh, has been answered today, um, but we were quite surprised uh, reading the answer, which is about one sentence long, that it's not going to be answered, but we should ask uh, the GCHQ itself, which is, well, um, not what we have expected. Here are some of the 17 million inhabitants of the Republic. It's perhaps not surprising that a country with a history of two totalitarian regimes in the last century feels uncomfortable about being spied on. The German experience makes them very conscious of civil liberties now. Data protection is terribly important to them, partly because of memories of the Gestapo in the Hitler era, uh, but above all because of the Stasi in East Germany, uh, the control over the whole population, the tapping of every telephone, the interception of every letter. This is the German experience of spying, retold in the Oscar-winning lives of others. For Germans, being told you don't need to worry about being spied on if you haven't done anything wrong just doesn't wash. For the Brits, spying conjures up something rather more glamorous. James Bond burst upon the scene as British power was declining. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr Bond, I expect you to die. But our love of fictionalised depictions of the intelligence agencies won't die. And that's based on a British understanding that intelligence gathering helped turn the tide in the Second World War. The Germans haven't had this positive experience. We would feel very uncomfortable having a German James Bond because we do not really... Um, we, we, we haven't got an affection for our secret services like the British people do. You can actually read that in the James Bond novels, that there is an affection about the British spy um, um, saving the world. We don't have that. So we're different culturally, but politically too. In Britain, our politicians tell us we are all a target for terrorists, that the spies need more money to keep us safe. What we all have to decide is how much spying we and others will accept.